So uh, we are a company called Think Silicon. Uh, we are uh, recently acquired by Applied Materials. Um, we are experts in the uh, low power um, smartwatch wearable market. We have our GPU 2D rendering uh, IP inside. Um, this is the Ambique Apollo 4 uh, product, which is using a Cortex M4 core with a. Which one? Uh, this, one? this one here, Ambique Apollo 4, which is a Cortex M4 core. Along with our, uh, the display subsystem is made up of Lima graphics, uh, the Pico Excel that you see here is inside there, which generates and renders the graphics in this uh, embedded system on a smartwatch, and it also has our um, Lima display controller, which generates very vibrant colors of um, that you see here on the display, um, and this is running at less than 100 megahertz. Um, and it's running and it has a memory of um, one megabyte of uh, uh, SRAM and one and two megabytes of MRAM um, on chip. So very, very small uh, memory footprint. It's actual device. device when it says today. small is mighty. Yeah. Uh, what is the expertise? What's, what do you do at Silic Think Silicon? Uh, th Think Silicon, uh, do you want to talk a little bit, uh, Yanis? Yanis yeah, is our sure. uh, software. So, uh, so yeah, thank you. So uh, what we do, we do actually is that uh, we have a really small device, but it is really efficient, okay? So what we do is bring uh, features that uh, normally you would find only on the high end of uh, GPUs, for example, and you can have uh, on, uh, on uh, smartwatches really elegant and fluid uh, uh, animations, but the power uh, consumption will be really low. So you will have uh, a really... Um, a long battery life, you can have fluid uh, graphics with up to 10 or 12 days of... Uh, Are you running on Cortex-M? Cortex-M, M33, M4, yes. RISC-V, yes. So what is a secret? How do you do graphics on the Cortex-M? Uh, and it's good. The secret really is that the IP was designed from the ground up for this specific application. Okay, so we knew the embedded world really, really well. We knew graphics really well. So we need to. We found a very good balance in terms of features, performance, and the power consumption. Nice. Do you want to show us some other demo? Uh, yes. Is actually the watch you're wearing? Is yes. Think silicon. Yes. This. All these watches. So can you describe what is this watch? This is a Xiaomi Watch S1 Active. It has a resolution, I think, of 460 by 460. So what nice big display. Yes. It, uh, very colorful, very bright. Exactly. But somehow long battery. Yeah, it's uh, from uh, I think seven to twelve days. So from my experience, uh, I think like seven or eight days with the, sc uh, the screen always on, like this, it's, it's possible. Yeah. And the graphics. Uh, with my with my Samsung here, I can barely do one day. Exactly. That's exactly what we do. Too much power. That's exactly what we do. But it's uh, checking. All my vitals. <laughs> Is it vitals and stuff yes, also? Yes, yes, yes. I always have it on, yes. Uh, right. you can see right. uh, so you are in actual products out there? You can yeah. see. Yes. There. What do we see here? So you can see we span the entire range of the segment from the feature watches, uh, the fitness trackers, like the um, Xiaomi Mi, uh, all the way up to the high-end uh, segments, such as the, the Garmin that you see here on the left. Um, we power the displays in all of these devices uh, with our 2D graphics rendering um, and our display controllers. Um, and and um, yeah, Iris, can you can you show um, uh, show back the um, the demos yeah, here that we have the, the, yes. the PVG demos. Uh, so maybe also the, um, the PVG demo. Yes. yes. Yeah. So what is the Pico VG? Yeah. Pico VG is our new CPU that will launch uh, from October. And it will it accelerates vector graphics. You can see here a map, an SVG file that's rendered with that the that's vector graphics. <coughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, the, the the beauty of this processor is it can either do to accelerate rasterized graphics or vector graphics. And vector graphics you see on uh, like maps or fonts. And um, it takes up a lot of the utilization on the Cortex M. But now that we are um, running it on our accelerator in the uh, Neox PV, in the NEMA PVG, uh, you only get, you only require 20% uh, utilization on the, on the uh, Cortex M versus 80. Uh, so all this uh, is rendered on the um, on the um, uh, NEMA GPU. 
So, um, you work with the chip chip makers? Yes, we, we do. We do work with some chip makers, and you can see here the one of them is, is listed here, which is uh, the Ambique um, uh, company. And so they integrate your IP on the on the chip? On the SOC, yes. We are IP vendor. Uh, there's others um, in the next floor. Um, Next door, that you can you can you will see big names next door, which are also integrating our uh, our IP. These smartwatches are big names. Yeah, they're like world leaders. I must say, and these guys they they like selling most smartwatches, yeah. and it's crucial to have something that looks cool and it has no battery. Exactly, exactly. That's the value proposition. Exactly. Um, the future, though, is more also adding extensions. So we obviously extended from our original GPUs. We extended, we added vector graphics capabilities. And now we're also adding uh, in the latest Neox architecture that you can see here. We are advertising, we have pamphlets. Uh, it's adding AI capabilities uh, on the GPU. So we add compute shaders, which are very common in smartphone markets. Compute shaders are very common in the smartphone market and are being waterfalling down into the MCU market. Um, and are running on um, uh, on the next generation Neox as compute shaders. So you can do post-processing, pre-processing, classic computer vision image processing, and also machine learning. Um, here we have a demo where you are uh, doing some person detection um, uh, on the Neox GPU um, in very, very low power consumption. So How long has uh, Think Silicon been doing this kind of technology? So. Um, Maybe you can answer yeah, that. Yeah, we started in uh, 2007, yeah. but with graphics, we have been uh, developing only graphics products since since 2010. And uh, yeah, so we, we are quite a long time in the segment. And initially, I think that we are, were actually the, the first GPU that exclusively targeted uh, the embedded market like smartwatches. And are there new hybrid Cortex-AM that could be taking advantage of your technology only when it's on M and doing something else on A? Actually, th th there are a couple of watches here. Uh, I think one of them is that one, the uh, Oppo Watch 2, which have like a big little uh, subsystem. On the big subsystem, it, it's running Wear OS. On the little, it's, uh, I think, an uh, RTOS-based uh, system, which, of course, uh, consumes very low uh, power, low, very low energy, and uh, when it's running on low power mode, mode, then it's using our graphics. Nice. And what does it use when it's not on low power mode? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure for this specific. Uh, All right. You're always going to be in Cortex M only. Uh, Cortex A on the high power. Cortex yeah. M on the low power. Yeah. You do stuff on A. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We can, we can um, yeah, we, 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 are, we, we are scaling all the way from, we scale from zero, one core to all the way to 60, 64 cores in the future. In real applications, in real chipsets, we, we, we have um, in the MCU space alongside Cortex-A, but the plan is to move into the space of Cortex-A in the future as well. So I love um, the smartwatches, and what's the big idea here, the embedded world? What are people asking you for, from you? Yeah, it's all about um, cost, power, uh, and performance in that very limited amount of um, footprint that you have available to you in that small um, silicon. So you're working with sub three megabytes of SRAM, and you're working with um, um, you know we are consuming less than 10 milliwatts, which is so significant in these very small form factors.